Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you a typography tutorial. I'm going to show you how to turn text into any shape. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay guys, let's start our tutorial. At first I'm going to show you the basics. Let's write any word. Let it be love. Okay. And select ellipse tool. Hold shift and draw the circle. Okay. Now you need to be sure that your text in the background the text can be in any place of the artboard. Now let's create outlines and you can move the circle here and select love and as well the circle can be here and select the circle and the love object and the love distort and make the top object. Okay, you see our word became the shape. Now let's write wow. Move it here. Now select rectangle tool, draw for example rectangle like this. Now select wow and rectangle and object envelope distort make with top object. Okay guys? It's great. Now let's create our coffee cup. Select uh, black color and rectangle tool. Draw the rectangle uh, 390 to 550. Okay, move it here. Now select free transform. Select this option and move these points, this point like this. Okay, now select these two points with direct selection tool and a little round corners. Uh, effect, warp, arc lower and here preview, here add and horizontal, okay. Object, expand appearance. Now let's create the top of the cup. Select their darkest color and rectangle tool and draw the shape like this. Okay, now selection tool and hold odd and make one copy. And make this copy a little shorter like this. Okay, and select this color and move the copy a little down. Now direct selection tool, select these two points and you need to round them like this. As well you can round these two corners like this, but I think better will be not round them. Now select these two points with help of direct selection tool and round them like this. Now you can move a little down this shape. Okay, I think more down. Okay, now select this color and rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this. Now select free transform this option and select this point and move them like move it like this and send to back move this shape here now effect warp arc and uh, select now better arc upper and select eight okay object expand appearance Okay, and move this shape a little 
down and make it a little wider. Select all shapes and align them. Move here. Now let's write the text. Select text tool and write coffee is always a good idea. Okay, now let's select the fonts here 200 and here espresso vintage. Select here, here 100 and here mocha in line. This one. And I select this text and here the same 100 and here latte in line. This one. And the last one here mocha in line but the size will be 200 okay now we need to create outlines ungroup the text and we need to group every row like this Now let's move the text till you would love the view. Now select the coffee, effect, verb, arc and select uh, here maybe better 10, preview, ok. Now object, expand appearance, now move the text like this, make the idea a little bigger. Now select the whole text and align it. Now we need to be sure that our text uh, in the back front, so select it and move to back. Now select the cup of coffee and the text and object, envelope distort and make the top object. Ok, now move the shape a little down like this, the text a little down and move a little up. Yes, I like it. Now select the cup of coffee with the text. Now file, place and select the photo with the wood texture and just make like this. You can select any photo, no matter, and send it back. Now select a rectangle tool, any color and hold shift and create rectangle like this. Select this rectangle and the texture and make with the mask and send to back. Let's move it here. Okay, and let's make a little wider to not see our artboard. Okay. Now select one more time rectangle and create one more rectangle like this. Select black and white gradient um, radial and here light gray any light gray color and opacity multiply and move there new texture and background to back now select the text object expand okay now you can change the color here, select this color. Okay, now select the rectangle with opacity multiply and move the slider here, here 70 percent percent uh, and move the slider here. 
Okay. Now I want to align the background and the cup of coffee. So select background and group it and select the cup of coffee and group it. Now select both objects and align them horizontal and vertical. Move here. Okay. And now I think need to change uh, the font, uh, the text color. Select this color and now our design is ready. Okay guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye guys. Mwah.